Jackson and uh, joined by two young Trojans here. Toa Lobanon, a true freshman starter. He's been at left guard. He's been at left tackle. And Scott Felix, who's really in his first year as a starter at uh, 30 tackles on the year and counting, as Coach was talking about. Toa, let me start with you, man. It was a big week for you. I mean, yeah, it's enough to put a, a true freshman, you know, put starting right away on, on your plate at left guard, and then all of a sudden in one week you, you go to becoming, you know, what most people think is that most valuable position uh, on the offensive line, that, that old blindside spot. Uh, what was your mindset? What, what did you have to do last week to make that conversion from left guard to left tackle? Well, first, all thanks to God for just being able to allow me to handle, you know, that switch over and just be able to play this game. And, uh, and I just, I don't know, I wanted to learn a lot, so I went back and looked at a lot of Chad's film just to get a feel of what he was doing. You know, he's being successful in that position, and just so I can get the feel of when I get in there, you know, I want to replicate that a little bit. Uh, I had some troubles in the games a little bit, but uh, overall I think I did pretty good. And just going through the weeks and getting the reps, that's what really helped. And, Scott, you've had a great year as well. Um, you know, in, I, I saw you, of course, in high school back yeah. when you were at Norco. But you, you, when you came to SC, obviously you had a neck injury and some struggles in terms of just being healthy. Yeah. You know, how are you feeling now and, you know, about your role and, you know, sort of getting to where you wanted to be, where you thought you would be when you came here as a freshman? I feel a lot better. <laughs> my week, you know, but uh, <laughs> I feel a lot better this year. You know, this is the first time I've actually been real healthy. And, you know, it's just uh, I got the unfortunate end of the stick when I first got here. But, you know, that's just how the game is. And, you know, I've, I feel like I've grown as a person, as a player, and it's helped me to get to this point. You know, any any – you know, worries about the neck injury? Because, I mean, come on, man. You know, you're a linebacker, yeah. and, you know, <laughs> your neck is, you know, pretty important. You know, it, any concerns, or is, is it all completely behind you now? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's all it's, it's in the back of my head a couple times throughout the game and practice. But, you know, I'll have a sore neck every once in a while. But most of the time, I think I'll just squirt some water on it and <laughs> kind of numb it. So I just go back out there and keep it. You know, we were talking about Chad going down, and, and that affected Toa. You've had a couple injuries that sort of affected you this year where Jabari goes down, and then you got moved around, and then obviously JR goes down. So you know, how, how has your role changed and developed, and how much more have they put on your plate as the season's gone on? I mean, it just started out as a competition with me and JR in the spring, you know, and uh, then, you know, Jabari goes down, unfortunately, so I have to go to Sam, linebacker. But as the season progresses, you know, we play in a spread um, league, and, you know, Sua fits that um, that scheme that we want better. And, you know, that's something that I have to be able to be okay with, and I am, because that's helped, that helps the team, you know. So that's fine with me. You know, anything that I have to do to help the team is what I'm willing to do, and I just want us to win. You know, until we're talking about you moving from left guard to left tackle this week, but since you've been at USC, which you came in early as, as an early enrollee, you, you went from center to left guard <laughs> to left tackle. You know, with, within the three positions, I know you played tackle in high school, yeah. you know, and you're sort of maybe more comfortable there. Is there any preference for you? Uh, I think I've just because I've been playing it this whole year, I think I've gone accustomed, I've gotten accustomed to guard. Mm -hmm. and it's been fun. But overall, just being on the field, that's what I like the most. You know, if whatever I can do to get on that field, that's what, that's what that's what's good for me. You know, we think of offensive linemen as these big 300-plus pound guys. And, you know, we've had some good ones here that were sort of lean. Like Matt Khalil sort of looked like a tight end. Tyron Smith was, you know, in, in, in really great shape. You sort of have that kind of body type. How much will you change, do you think, over your four years? You you, you, you want to get a lot bigger or you, yeah, you, you plan on staying long and lean like definitely this? Definitely been talking, you know, with Coach Ivan, our strength coach, on getting up to 300, you know, hopefully a good 300. And just being able to be in, the sh in a great shape, you know, and play it that way, it'll just – the more the more good way I can add on, it'll just give me more power, you know, to, to go on the field and and just give better strength. You know, Scott, the theme the theme of this whole interview is guys moving positions in different <laughs> spots they've been in. Going back to even your high school days, you were a linebacker that was lined up off of the ball. Now you find yourself in a rush in type of responsibility. Is there a preference to, for you to be on the ball versus off the ball or which spot do you like best? I like being on the edge. That's okay. that's, that's <laughs> I feel home right there, you know. So uh that's always where I felt most comfortable, and I feel like that's the best position to help me make plays. When you do, you go against this guy in practice and one-on-one -on -one pass drills. Uh, well, you know, what's the challenge? What does Toa pose? Toa is very athletic, so he's not like you know some of these guys that you can just run around and try and use your speed. You know, Toa is damn near just as fast, <laughs> so uh, I have to be able to you know shake it up because I've been going against Chad every every pretty much every play this year. So just going against Toa is something that I have to switch up. You know, he's super athletic, so it kind of surprised me at how athletic he was this week. <laughs> you know, Toa, talk to me about the progress of this offensive line because, you know, coming into, you know, it, even in spring ball, the big question mark was offensive line. I mean, you got a whole bunch of freshmen playing. These guys aren't going to know what's going on. Mm -hmm. You guys have now become one of the strengths of this team. You know, talk about that progress. Uh, I think it just started with, you know, Coach Drevno just constantly being on us all the time. 
you know, uh, always working, always being critical of whatever we do. You know, we had a good game. You know, he's honest about those little things that we messed up on and just really just keep pushing us to push us to who we are. You know, he always, just tells, he always tells us we're a physical or we kick butt, you know, that's who we are. You right. know, and that, I think that's been the key, really. You're the first offensive lineman we've had on Trojans Live this season because we can never know when your meetings are going to end. <laughs> that what, right goes on, what goes on in a Drev no meeting that it lasts all night? There's, no, there's never anything we can't fix, really, with Drev. And uh, I guess it, it's a good thing, you know, because we just keep finding those things to get better at, and uh, it just really helps our offensive line. All right, well, we appreciate that you got out of your meetings at least tonight. Thank you, boys, both for joining us. Uh, we'll see them uh, back in the Coliseum a week from Thursday. Looking forward to to it. Fans, Ralph's makes it easy to enjoy USC pregame without even firing up the grill. Just shop at Ralph's. Spend $25 on participating products and you are in. Get low prices and fast check out at Ralph's, the official grocer of football. We're going to stay with football as we get JJ's scouting report when we come back on Trojans Live on the Beat.